Please travel soon. Hello, and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. Deal with that quickly. And let, let's get out of here. Tombaugh Quarry, 2059, five years after the blackout. The bridge providing entry to the Tombaugh facility lies in ruins. Although no signs of sabotage or demolition are apparent, the debris bears no marks of a natural calamity either. Only a narrow path remains intact for outgoing monorail traffic. Sarah has either reached Tombaugh before the bridge collapsed, or found another way in. Yeah, I think she found another way inside, but now we have to do that too. We can refill our oxygen. That's wonderful. But also does not bear any good signs down there. When Dr. Rosa Laverada joined the WSA, she committed herself to one single goal, developing a sustainable energy source for Earth. To that end, the copious amounts of helium-3 harvested from excavated moon rock made for outstanding fuel. Still, it would take her years to develop a reactor that would efficiently process helium-3. Only then could the resulting energy be, trans be transmitted by the MPT. Let's refill once more. I'm not entirely sure if we are losing oxygen when I am reading those uh, notes or not. Okay, I think we must sprint and jump. Okay. I missed. Okay. Hmm? That's why I couldn't open the, those crates earlier. I did not see those breakable parts. Okay, we cannot enter here. And the airlock. Fantastic. Which means there is air on the other side. And we don't have to worry about it anymore. What are you beeping about? No? Okay. Should 
Should I stand in here? No. Okay, little one, I think it's your time. I have no idea what we are supposed to do here. Come here, little one. You'll stay here. I'll go out. I appreciate any information, really. Labor recruit, thank you. It would be useful if I at least knew what is being scanned here. Why am I not allowed inside? Hello. The other one opens. Okay, give me a moment here because it's really never mind. You it's it's still unclear but the thing I can do is turn off the scanner yeah mm. powering tomorrow tombo facility check mining operation now helium free available state of the sector reactor mpt dish okay can alex access tombo systems helium free excavated from moon rock harvested in the quarries surrounding tombo process helium free is the fuel that powers our future constructed on one of the richest helium free deposits on the moon tombo is the proud and sole provider of helium free reactor Tombo's state-of-the-art reactor turns helium free into pure energy. Its revolutionary technology ensures that only little inputs is required to produce a generous output. The produced energy is transported to the MPT battery, where it is stored until transmission. MPT dish. The MPT system retrieves energy from the MPT battery and leaks it through to the MPT's alpha dish, firmly positioned on top of the Tombo facility. The MPT sends energy surging from the moon to Earth to provide for humanity's energy needs. Oops, not this one. Uh, 
Uh, WSA personal log. Uh, please enter first and last name below. We use a new line for the individual checking in and sharing the same purpose of visit. Up to a maximum of three individuals at a time. Important. Name entered on first line must correspond to name of signer below. William MacArthur and Isaac Johansson. Purpose of visit. Periodic MPT assessment. Signature. By signing below, I declare that I have filled out this form truthfully and in full, and that I have submitted this form for verification and approval by a Tombow Facility Security Officer. No one enters or leaves without my written permission. Okay, that's interesting. So many Roombas. Reactor capacity at 9%. We're close now. Let's go, Alex. Welcome to Tombo. Who are you? Sarah. Sarah Baker. Used to be stationed at Pearson. You work here? I used to. Name's Isaac. Isaac. Mr. Johansson? Where's the rest? I thought everyone had... There's no one else. Why are you here? They're all gone? I... I'm here to fix the MPT. Mm -hmm. No use. They locked the mainframe. The system's inaccessible. Uh, I'm a software engineer. Show me. Maybe I can... Uh, what's going on? The reactor is running out of fuel, but power's still building up inside. With the MPT offline, that power can't go anywhere. If it isn't stopped soon... Wait, you're a software engineer? Come with me! Wait, hold up! So they tried to fix it. That's reassuring. Movie night. <laughs> Oops. Required security update install here. One. Can you interact with that? No. Okay, I thought they went this way, but it was only supposed to guide us this way. Okay, we don't need to use toilet apparently. After so much stuff happening, I would be shaking my pants. You, but where do I need you? Oh. Do not rotate it. Or rotate it like this. Security breach detected. Lockdown in effect. 
Why would you input stealth section here? MPT online, MPT transmits power from moon to earth. The microwave power transmission generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on earth, fueled by hidden free harvested on the moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to earth. The World Space Agency believes the MPT can transmit enough energy from the colonist fusion reactor to supply approximately 20% of the Earth's population. That per percentage is expected to rise quickly. In another decade, the MPT could power all of Earth, said Dr. Isaac Johansson, the agency's lead scientist. Earth will never be in the dark again. That was us. We made it work. If it was required, if uh, this whole place required so many people to operate it, how am I? Stealth sections. I'm great at them. Um, but if this place required whole crew to operate it, how am I supposed to deal with it alone? This is the place I got spawned in and I was immediately zapped. Oh, come on! This will be amazing. I'll speed it up for you so you won't have to see that, for example. Oh, they also follow me, great! Yeah, we need to get upstairs somehow. Or well, maybe not. This is definitely broken. Normally I would not expect that to work. Elevator is operational right now. I don't want to interact with it yet. Mr. Johansson, wait up! 
The control room's closed. Hey! Once we cross the corridor... Will you listen to me? The tremors are getting worse. If we don't do something about... We just went past a bunch of destroyed ASEs and what looked an awful lot like body bags. What happened? Now's not the time. You knew these people. Enough! You don't know what you're talking about. No, that's right. I don't. I don't know why the MPT shut down. And I don't know why the colony vanished overnight. Reactor capacity at 8%. We have to focus on the reactor. Our people were killed here, Isaac. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Outward would have saved everybody. What, by just packing up and leaving Earth? That's a terrible plan, even by MacArthur standards. Outward left us all to rot. You don't even care? Don't you? Don't you dare. I've dedicated my life to sustaining Earth, even after it killed my wife. My daughter's still down on that godforsaken rock. Then how could you leave her behind? Does she even know? <sighs> Look, there's still time to fix this. We can fix the MPT. You could be a hero. Look around, Miss Baker. There are no heroes here. They're gone. Now get a move on.
didn't take you for someone who's into comics. They remind me of home. Of what we're doing this for. Reactor capacity at 4%. You know, my brother used to love Moon Man. He was really into these stories. He, um, he was born ill. Chronically. When I joined the WSA, he thought I was giving up on him. But without the MBT's energy, there's no way the clinic could keep his treatment going. It's the only way I could help him, even if he'd hate me for it. We try to help them. The people we love. We do what we must to keep them safe. Even if they don't understand. And sometimes we're... We're wrong. I brought my daughter, Kathy, here. She's in cryo now. Isaac? You said your daughter lives on Earth. That's Claire. Uh, my other daughter. We... we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Get some sleep. We try again tomorrow. Okay, so apparently I uh, did not toggle my microphone back on, so I'm recording this part later on. Okay, so here we... let's try 1881. Not working. Um, she said something... let's try those posters. She said something that the favorite movie was Moon Man. March 8th. Let's try that. Who knows? Maybe it will work. Uh, 0308. No. Okay, the other way around. 0803. Does not work either. Okay. So let's check the other side. Maybe. Well, maybe. We'll surely find the code somewhere here, right? The Star Maker, but nothing of interest here. Okay, um, oh. Sarah, for any day to day things, use 8662 to get into the storeroom. Isaac. So now we have our code, I've written it down. Let's check this. Eager to fulfill his mission, the astronaut stirs a sleeping giant, and as his perilous voyage comes to a stunning climax, he finds that where some journeys end, others begin. That sounds really nice, and I also love the design of those magazines. And we can finally venture into the bathroom. I know it's weird, but doesn't matter. Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, a whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson's findings reveal a sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium free on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. That does make sense, like... Yes. <laughs> But for now, we're gonna end this part here. Thank you very much, and bye!